Hey everybody, welcome to another Valheim build. Before I start off, I just wanted to say it's been a couple weeks since I posted my last video and that's because uh, this build took a very long time uh, and also because I got a bit sick uh, last couple weeks. Um, I got the flu, I got a sort of an infection in my mouth and I have a little bit of a short throat. So talking is pretty hard, you might already uh, hear it a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm going to power through and I'm going to give you guys a little tour. Uh, the second thing I want to say is that this build is mostly uh, about the outside of the castle, not the inside, because the inside is pretty empty. And the reason why is because it's already sort of taxing on my computer and on my frame rate. And I didn't really want to do all the inside things if I couldn't make like a cool cinematic and film everything. So uh, that's why the outside is only done and not really the inside. Um, and the last thing I want to say is um, there is another YouTuber called The Basic Builder. He's also working on a castle at the moment. And he gave me a lot of feedback while I was working on this for over the last couple weeks. And I really, really appreciate all the feedback he gave me. So check out his channel. He's called The Basic Builder. Uh, check out his channel and uh, check out his castle that he's probably going to uh, pu start publishing soon. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about it, but it's a really cool castle. Now, with all, the, all of that out of the way, uh, we're going to have a little walk around. Uh, first off, this castle, the inspiration behind it is a fantasy castle. So think of Disney castles. Uh, don't think of a realistic, like, defensible castle. This is just all the like, fantasy and just trying to look aesthetically pleasing instead of, like, defensible from a, a, for a, from a raid or something. So we start off here on this bridge. Uh, this is the entrance. I first wanted to make, like, a... Uh, gatehouse here with two towers but uh, I soon figured out that I actually kind of like it simple like this and decorated um, if the game was a little bit more optimized and it could get a little bit more frames out of the game I would have probably made a village on this side of the bridge because it would probably look really cool if you have to have like a little village here that's connected to the castle now let's start running um, I really like these like middle areas with the grass uh, the green really contrasts nicely against like the gray and black uh, color palettes that I'm using. Also, I, uh, for the first time ever, I'm using these black tar uh, decorative pieces. I never really used them, but I've really used them a lot in the uh, uh, trimming of my castle. And that uh, decorated with the normal woods and with all the new, uh, uh, with all the black tar roofs and everything, it just really contrasts like really nicely. Um, this is the sort of front entrance, the front gate. Um, I will go probably go in, in a little bit, but first I'm gonna go here. This is the harbor. You could call it a harbor. Sort of like a little harbor uh, with a really big, I think cool looking monument. These wolf heads, they really, really, really fit well with the black marble and then Adding a little bit of the normal gray stone and then the green and a little bit of orange, just it all fits really well. Then I've added a lot of like uh, scrubbery decorations on the sides of the castle, these uh, with these green vines. Um, I did that with uh, a mod called uh, Plant Everything. I don't really use mods, but this, this, these vines are just so cool. They, they add so much detail uh, and they really add a lot of contrast. Then I made this little underground sort of tunnel area that leads to the other side to another ramp to defend the castle and here it's like a little room i wanted to dig out more but i was afraid of this like destroying my castle of fucking around with the interior with the stability and stuff so i decided to um to just leave it here but it's still like really cool to be like down here now let's fly around a little bit um so all the windows have sort of the same decorated style. So there's a glass, there's a wood, so like wood on the sides, and then there's like these, uh, what the bronze decorated, I don't know if bronze of iron or iron, but it's like the decorating piece in front of it. And then on the outside of the wall, there's all these, uh, all these black tar trims. And then the roofs, they have uh, stairs in them to give a little bit more, I don't know, just add a little bit more detailing to the black roofs instead of just being black. Uh, also up here. And like, I really like this middle area. It's uh, with all the windows. It just 
it's just like really grand, like a cathedral. Uh, somebody else called it a, uh, a wizard wizard college or something. And uh, I really like the shape of it and, and how the windows work. Um, then these are like two buildings where you could have like the the people that work there live or maybe the kitchen. Here's like another guard tower. This is also, there's like stairs in there, uh, but it's not finished on the inside as you can see. <laughs> Then here are two doors that lead in and back to these ramparts. This is like the most outer area, like the most on the outside area. Um, this also looks really cool from the inside. So if you go in, like this just really, it's like really grand. These, these windows are just really, really grand. And then on this side, we have more ramps. And then here's like a, like a in, inner garden. I really like how this looks. Uh, and this this monument is sort of more of a grave, so it's like King Gnuts the second. He's like he's probably like uh, uh, buried here. And when I was looking up inspiration, I saw that all these fancy gardens had like massive vines everywhere. So I wanted to put down a lot of vines everywhere just to give this feeling of it being a little bit overgrown. Now then we have this building uh, and this tower. I love 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 this tower. It was so hard to make, but it worked out so well. So I'm going to show you guys from the inside. So if you go here, you can go up these stairs. And then here are like the round stairs and they barely fit. This was, was pretty hard to do, but they barely fit, as you can see. And then you can go all the way to this, to the grand area, or you can go even higher. Have like a really cool look out over the bridge i really love this tower just super cozy then let's show you the inside of this area this is just it's so big and so so much light everywhere i just love 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 this building this area it's way too big it's super unpractical it wastes a lot of space but it just looks so cool and on here on this side there is the front entrance with two of the turrets on the sides so that like guards can stand here and look down um, and in the back is that massive tower is this tower and goes all the way to the top I'm not gonna go in the tower because there's nothing there but I'm gonna show you guys the outside of the tower so I love 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 like these, these like these little wood like this little yeah roof pieces with like the window that sticks out of the tower it feels like really chunky and you know, i like that and there's like a little room here and there's like decorated like rooms on this side and there's like massive vine growing all the way to the top and then on top of it it's like this really nice round roof um i'm super super happy with this castle um i just wish like i can show you guys i just to, I'm, I'm at about 20 frames at the moment, uh, 25,000 instances, and I just wish the either the game was a bit more optimized or I had a uh, NASA computer or something, because um, it's just it's just rough continuing building this, knowing that the more I add, the less frames I have, and the less frames I have, the less uh, video quality I can make. Uh, so yeah, so I just had to quit. But this is like this is for me the perfect spot to stand on this bridge looking at this small tower and then the big tower and the big room in the back i just love 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 this side of the castle but that's pretty much it uh it's a small tour like i said not much on the inside but i hope you guys liked it I hope you guys see something you might want to copy or maybe do something on your own uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to add this to next month yet but i might do it i just need to uh figure out if this is worth adding but i'm gonna think about it Anyway, that's it for now, uh, and thank you all for watching, and uh, see you guys in the next one.